Guys, we are back with a brand new up. We are back with a brand new update, and my cat has ruined this, this intro three times in a row. Look, there he is. Stuckies. Anyway, let's not get distracted. So we're back with a brand new update and I wanted to take a deep dive into the update 1.16 patch notes. As you guys know, I always like to do when they release these new updates. So what I want to talk about is, um, well, I'm going to go over the new characters briefly. Because as you know, I like to do separate videos on the characters when I go into depth. So I'm going to do a quick overview of the characters. And then there's a lot to cover in this update because this is going to change the game. And it actually looks like it's going to change it for the better for once. So I don't remember Tron ever looking that scary. Um, Tron Disney Heroes. I, I did cover him in like a leaked video. Um, but I don't remember... I don't remember him ever looking like that. Oh, okay, fair enough. Look, you can see him there. Oh, my video comes up like fifth when you search Tron. Oh, someone even made like a fake mock-up of Tron. That actually look... Right, that actually looks incredible, that um, mock-up of Tron. I wonder what, what that's from. I wonder if he's done any others. Ah, oh, this is... F oh, so he's just actually made that one. That looks dope, that does. Right, yeah. That is a sick bit of fan out there, guys. That is mad. Anyway, so, yeah. So th that means Tron... Well, he's confirmed to come to the game now. There's no, like chatting around that he will be coming to the game oh my goodness so um anyway let's get back into this i've gone off of subject like i always tend to do then you guys comment down oh you talk too much so okay let's go over tron quickly so his first skill io barrier tron removes all active buffs from enemies and deals damage to all enemies that's decent. Tron summons a light barrier, applying stacks of Hardy to himself. Each stack of Hardy block debuffs being applied to him. Good. Uh, distributed process. At the start of each wave, Tron summons a light barrier on the frontmost ally, which applies stacks of Hardy to them. Tron and his allies receive bonus skill power per stack of Hardy they have on him. So, stack up, more skill power, bang. System patch. Tron heals himself and, and the ally with the late... With the least HP, pretty decent firewall. After a number of stacks of Hardy, block a debuff, damage is dealt to that enemy. He doesn't seem incredible, but like I said, these are just quick, quick overviews before I get into it. That's great. Hank and, oh, God. Hank and Dory and Gerald's characters are just fantastic in this game, guys. So we've got Hank and Dory, a frontline control duo. Um, Hank becomes camouflage, blinding enemies have a few basic attacks. That sounds decent. We've got Inked at the beginning of each wave. Hank and Dory swing into the enemy line, dealing damage. Well call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dory calls out in well, causing a well tail to swing at the enemies at the back. That's pretty decent. So if you had Gerald, his special hits the front. Hank and Dory would hit the back. And, you know, you'd meet in the middle. That's pretty cool. Just keep swimming. Hank, Dory and the allies have a percent chance to dodge a study or a scare. And they said heal. That's pretty cool. Now, that's great, cool. I will cover all of that in detail in future. It, on Monday, guys, I'll do a separate video of each character and give you all my predictions and insights on teams. That's great, we'll do that then. Now, I wanted to get into the rest of this here. So, we finally have Ducky and Bunny's red skill coming. And I'm gonna, I've basically been saving. I've, we've absolutely smashed a badge bit collector contest, by the way, guys. 12th, that is mad. Oh, we've been pushed out to the top 5% now, though. Oh, my goodness. They've just smashed. Oh, that's fine. We still get quite a nice amount of gold. Oh, nine pound. You're kidding me. I do need gold now more than anything because, obviously, I want to max out Gerald. And I eventually want to max out Hank and Dory as well. I want to form a nice little... Um, well, I want to form a nice team, basically, just on those characters. So I need to make the most of this here where I can get involved with this port battle here and obviously when i claim all my mailbox stuff we'll be able to get some money from in here as well great and then when i finally do come around to when we finish the contest tomorrow we're in the top five percent we shouldn't get pushed out the top five percent 
So I think we're going to get... Um, where's the reward? 10 million gold, lovely. That would be really useful to upgrade our characters with. Well, for me, it would be useful just to upgrade um, Hank and Dory, uh, Gerald with. Because like I said to you guys, you know he's the only character I'm working on at the moment. And I want to try and get him up to red 5 also. So that is going to be something quite exciting. I'm quite excited to do that, guys. Um, yeah, and I also want to talk about Randall. Uh, but I'll do that after the update comes out. Because then I can do a video on him. Because they are nerfing Randall. So I can do that. Um, yeah, I'll do that in a separate video at some point next week, guys. But yeah, so now I'm going to go back towards Gerald. Where is the main man? There he is. Look how beauty he is. Look at how beauty he is. Yes, I can get another badge on him. Equip that onto him. Then I'll just start to go down this one now. So it's just basically a nice little uh, slow process now. Going through like that. And then we can... Um, I always tend to use my 250s. 50-50, as most of you know. Um, let's let's do this one and I'll raid that. But anyway, uh, for now... Um, Oh yeah, that's okay. Let's let's see what he's like in a in a higher up battle, then, guys. Let's actually get a little bit of a taste of him. His healing is ridiculous, by the way. Actually, someone said to me that I should be putting the um, the badges I should be using. Oh, so he's fallen off his rock now, and that's when he got killed. Okay, so. That's quite cool, really, that he's really good. But when he falls off his rock, he basically loses everything. Because he got, he got a big hit on him then. So someone told me um, I should be upgrading the max HP discs on him. Because he heals people for his max HP. Which I didn't realise. I can't remember who told me that. But, um, yeah. So when you go to here, when you your eyes heal 10% of their max HP every two seconds. So, yeah, his max HP would allow him to heal quicker. Uh, basically, what I want to do now is just get 13 more levels in that. And then I can do this. I can. So I'm basically doing that, and I can get two more skills upgraded for him. Great. That's that all good. So now let's get into it. So we've got new red skills for a load of characters. So we've got Ducky and Bunny, we've got Moana, we've got Nick, we've got Mad Hat, we've got Jack Jack, we've got Gerald, Marlin. So that's finally coming out. I don't know why that was delayed. Uh, maybe they just wanted to get the character out quicker. Well, I don't know, like, they gain armor, so that's going to be one of the main things I'm going to do. So I'm going to start to play with Ducky and Bunny and Gerald in my team and just keep going through. But I will cover that in a separate Red Skill video. That's not the important thing. What I want to focus the main part on this update is here. This is the most important thing of this update, guys. So, Challenger Seasons. Both Arena and Coliseum players who are in the Challenger tier will be able to try out our new seasonal format. Challenger Seasons is where the best of the best players will compete over the course of four weeks to earn points and climb divisions to become the season champion. Best of all, you'll be earning exciting daily, weekly and seasonal awards. That's great. At the beginning of each week in the season, you'll be introduced to the rules and a scoring bonus. Great. So it's kind of a bit like the City Watch. Max HP is increased, but... Fantastic damage is increased, but... So I quite like that. It, it makes you have to kind of think that okay I can't just keep using the same five the same five the same five the same five I mean I'm never going to be that deep in this game that I'll be able to make it to the top but I'm hoping I will at least be able to get into the challenger rank then it says here so we'll modify fights by adding buffs and debuffs to certain hero stats gear discs etc etc so I quite like the idea of that and it says here, in, so after a few intervals most, you'll join everyone else in Division 7 and be placed into a new league whose size will typically be between 8 to 29 players. So you can kind of see here, we've got challenges, we've got cool little new setups and leagues and everything, which I quite like the look of. This feels like it's going to bring in something new, um, just a bit fresher to do every day. The way you fight and rank against other players will slightly change in the, new ch in the new challenger tier. Each day you'll be given a number of opponent keys based on the size of your league. Each key is used to unlock one opponent and over the course of the week you'll collect enough keys to unlock every opponent in your league. So you'll basically be able to fight everyone. I like the idea of that, that seems pretty cool. You'll earn a fight score against that opponent based on the results and any fight bonuses that you may have earned. 
So then there's the points. Your fight score is calculated after each fight. Your best fight score is the highest score. Your total fight points are everything that's happened in that week. So I guess this is what you want to get into here. So after you've done all of this every week, you get a crate. Nice job. Here are your awards you've earned for finishing first in Division V during week two. Then you get three crates. The most... <laughs> Uh, season champion crown. Join the last week of the season. Players who have played to Division 1, or I, I guess that would be one, will compete to become the season champion and earn a special exclusive avatar board to show off their contract into the next season. So one person in the whole server gets a limited edition order. You know, they could even have given you 20,000 diamonds, but nah, but a, a board is a lot better. And then we've got hero updates. So they are nerfing Randall guys. Scream selection now deals damage before scaring enemies. So I'm going to get into that in tonight's video, guys, and go all over that because a lot of you have asked me to break this down in a lot more detail. And I don't want to just sieve it on to the end of this kind of general update. Captain Hook has had a hero update. Donald Duck has also had a hero update. Hardy will now block knockback, so they've just upgraded that, so that makes Tron really cool. Fix an issue with Gonzo that will prevent him from using his cannibal entrance. Fix the bug with Gonzo's memory discs. Fix the bug with Aladdin's energy still. Fix the bug where Be Rage of Beasts could be interrupted. Hero refresh update. It was a close vote. We're planning to refresh. Oh yeah, they did a vote on what hero to refresh. Hi everyone, Shanks sounds good to get a refresh, but that means it would make some friendship campaigns literally impossible along with some invasion breakers, so I'm urging you not to vote for her. Thanks, okay. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true actually, because she's nearly in every single um, friendship mission. Jesse and they, they, these two characters here, oh, I would have loved Mad Hatter. I would have absolutely loved Mad Hatter to get the rework. But Jesse and Chief, definitely those two. Queen of Hearts is just garbage. Um, that's cool. I, I like the idea of that. So you can see there's a new hero refresh coming as well. So there's quite a lot coming. So I'm going to go over the rest of these improvements here. Diamond quests are now available on all servers. That's madness. That's basically a battle pass. All mailbox messages will now have an expiry date. Added a max plus button for upgrading skills. Skip the slider, that's good. Improvements to the skill level up slider. Nice. If a slider is available to activate. So I like the idea of that. That's a lot nicer, a lot easier. More guild perks. Extra guild bosses in invasion. Um, that's cool. New difficulty level of creep surge. More HP and skill power bonuses. New heist bonuses for movement. Okay, cool. Uh, new, new guild. Level 5. New guild level 5. Better drop rates for credits in guild crates. Better drop rate for XP in guild crates. Extra chance for elite camping levels. Chance to pan elite. Okay, that's pretty sick. And we should have maxed out. So that's, I imagine my guild's just going to upgrade that immediately without any thought. Because we should have, if I go into my guild, yeah, 1.1 million stamina. And I've got loads of these, um, trophy set. I've got 22,000 um, influence to give to the guild as well so um, I'm quite excited for that and I'll be able to smash the guild up really really quickly basically. Epic City Watch will... Oh, I was hoping they were going to say that it would make it easier. Epic City Watch only displays on servers that are red. Red to higher. Fix an issue that could cause contest award messages to remain. Fix the bug with two times normal campaign. Drop guild perk also affecting elite campaign. Fixed an issue where the HP invasion boshes. Fixed an issue where don't care. Fixed an issue where don't care. So they don't fix the only one thing that people complain about. Anyway, guys, yeah, that's just kind of a quick breakdown of the update. I want you to comment down below and let me know what you're most excited for. Um, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you're excited for. Drop a like, leave a subscribe. Tonight's video, guys, I this for this week, I am going to skip the character prediction because I want to continue talking about the update. So I'll see you guys all in the next one.